Years later and no one is facing charges for the death of Jeannie Quinn, the 20-year-old who disappeared out of Leveland only to be found dead in Abilene. The person of interest in her case is in prison on unrelated convictions and faces a murder charge out of Hockley County for someone else's death. KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks talked to Jeannie's uncle. So where would she be today if none of this happened? Jeannie Quinn would be 25, but five years ago she was found in what authorities say was a staged hanging in this field in Abilene. It's hard to believe that she was even 20 because in my mind she was still a baby. Her uncle John Quinn says another year has gone by with no one held responsible for his niece's death. Nothing's happened. Quinn disappeared out of Leveland in April of 2018 and was last seen with now 61-year-old Ricky Don Henderson. He ended up arrested, charged, and convicted on drug charges and is now serving time in the Smith Prison Unit in La Mesa. He was also indicted in 2021 for the 1993 murder of his wife, Stephanie Meeks. You know, even though he's in jail and might be going to trial for murder, it's not Jeannie's murder and what it would be like to get some, you know, resolution to right. her case. Right. So even though he's in jail uh, and he's also awaiting trial on a, a different homicide, it still doesn't answer the, uh, there's no accountability for uh, what happened to Jeannie. Abilene police named him a person of interest in Jeannie's homicide, but again this year tell KCBD there's not enough evidence to present the case to the DA. They ask for anyone to bring forward information, and John says someone knows something. People should come forward. I mean, drop. I mean, it could be anonymous. Just you know, if they have something solid, help out. With his murder trial still pending and Henderson serving time in prison, Quinn says no one should fear him. It's nothing to be afraid of, and uh, he should pay for his crimes. Until then, Quinn says he remembers that baby. Where would she be today if this didn't happen? You know, and, you know, she was just, she, she had a whole life ahead of us. And wonders who Jeannie could have been. I visit her every week at the, uh, at the cemetery, every week. She's with her father and she's with her grandmother. Case Wilbanks, KCBD News Channel 11.